Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at Windows Forms. The first thing you're going to need to do is start yourself a new project. So I'm just going to go File, New, and Project. If you choose Windows Form Application, I'm just going to give that a name. And just press OK. Once you've done this, you should get a form and some code behind that we're going to have a look at. Once the form's loaded, you should see a toolbox. If this doesn't appear, you just need to go View, and Toolbox will be in that list. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at a very, very simple application. What I'm going to do is drag a button control onto my form. You can see I can resize and reposition the control quite easily. I'm just going to move that towards the top. I'm going to adjust a couple of the properties of this button here. So to do that, I'm going to right click. I'm going to click Properties, and you can see the Properties is opened here on mine. Properties might be docked towards the sort of bottom side of your screen down here. You can just undock that quite easily if you want to give it some more room. All I'm going to do first of all is change the text on the button. So if I look down my list of properties, you'll see towards the bottom there's text, and I'm just going to put a simple bit of text saying click me there and you can see I've changed the buttons property text to click me and if I just move off that back onto the form you can see that that changes. Now what we're going to do is just put some code in there just to show you the basics of forms programming. All I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sort of select my button and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add an event which is going to run when I press the button. Now event just triggers a little bit of code to run and if you remember from last year's module we have functions where your event can run a function. So if we have a look at this button here, if we go to our properties, you'll see we have this lightning bolt. And if I just press that, you can see we've got a list of all of these different kind of events. And we're particularly concerned with the click event here. All I'm going to do in here is I'm going to give my function a name. I'm going to just say hello. And if I just press enter or return here, you'll see that what happens is the properties disappear. I'm just going to go and redock that down at the bottom here for a moment. And some code appears. My form hasn't disappeared, you can still see with the tabs at the top, my form's over this side, and this is the code that's behind. You can also press F7 to differentiate and swap between the form and the code. What you can see here though, is we've got this function now, and in this function we can see that it says hello. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put some simple code into that, that's just going to display a message box. So to do that I'm just going to pop in the code M for message box. I'm just going to press the tab key twice and you can see that it's going to automatically put that piece of code in there. And in that I'm just going to change the string inside and I'm just going to get it to say hello world. Nice and straightforward. Just close that quote there. Now what's going to happen is when the user presses a button that click event is going to fire and it's going to run this function here. Okay, and hopefully what's going to happen is we should have a message box saying hello world. So let's just press play to run this. And you can see here's our form. And all I'm going to do now is just press the button to run it. And there's our pop-up message just there. 